Oh, this is a well I had to lower and remove the tank. The well and the tank. The well was raised up on the platform and the, the um, fiberglass 80 gallon standard tank was on top. It was waterlogged, had a leak on top of the tank, had to replace the tank, and needed to upsize since it was a pretty decent flow well. Uh, upgraded to a 120 gallon tank, metal tank, and the, with the weight of that, there was no way in hell I was gonna put it on top of this platform. So we went ahead and relocated and lowered the well and sealed it with a, uh, a bolt-on type flange and customized uh, wire uh, compression seal and I got a little weep hole right there in case it ever does leak through that compression seal the water will leak out of here rather than go up into the junction box and ruin the electrical connections but uh, so far it's been overnight and there's not a drop of water so we know the compression seal is holding and then just had a well these are uh, power company had thrown one of those away in the garbage old cover pedestal cover and we guess I'm gonna get them to put some dirt or some blocks around it and we'll just put that over the top of it and this thing will be gone and then over here we'll remove the tank to in the house that electrical service is where the water service comes in. Right here. And there's the tank out of the flood zone. <laughs> you can see the river, river's edge right there. So you get about four feet of water around here every 20 years so so they they figured that their best option was the original owner to raise the well and the put the tank up seven six seven feet up in the air on top of a rinky rinky little platform yeah that was scary, <laughs> Get, having to climb up a six foot ladder to just to service the thing. So, this is the way it should be.